Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering the solar system topic test. So there's a few questions that we're going to answer. There's a multiple choice question, terminology question and the diagram question. So um, this topic test is from the worksheet that I'm selling, which has different topic tests from um, a number of grade eight topics. So if you want to purchase it, please kindly check out my WhatsApp number and my email address on my bio. Uh, you'll also be able to see it um, uh, in the background in this video, basically. So you're more than welcome to contact me and then purchase the worksheet. It will definitely help you um, to basically prepare for your exam, for your November exam or a November test that you are writing. All right, so let us go through the questions. The first one is a multiple choice one. I think we have about five multiple choice questions. Um, first one, which planet is known as the red planet? This topic, guys, um, is a very easy topic and most learners enjoy it. So you just need to know the names of the planets um, and their correct order, obviously. Understand what we find in the solar system. Understand what we find in between the planets, um, information about the dwarf planets, the stars, um, and a little bit of calculations. That's it. It's a very small topic and easy to understand. Please make sure that you do study uh, because this is one topic that you can get good marks from. All right, going back to the question, the planet that is known as the red planet. You are given four options, obviously, in a multiple choice question, and you need to choose the most correct one. Now, in this case, the correct one is B, which is Mars. Remember, if you find a multiple choice question a bit confusing, start by eliminating the most incorrect answer. So we'll start by eliminating the most incorrect one. Even if it's one or two, then be left with the two that you need to decide from. That's the strategy. But never leave um, uh, an answer empty. Please don't leave spaces when you're answering a test or an exam. So one, one, two, the planet with the most extensive ring system the most extensive we know that we do have a few planets with ring systems but the one with the most ex extensive one sorry um that is c all right and in most tests and exams remember multiple choice um in multiple choice each answer is worth two marks so those are two marks that you cannot cannot afford to lose remember if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly hit that subscribe button share the link of this video with your friends classmates uh, schoolmates and also please comment down below remember to answer the questions with me and indicate how many you're getting right and if there's any specific question that you need me to explain uh, please do let me know in the comment section or a certain topic that you need help with. Um, so I'll obviously look for a question paper or a topic test, record a video and post it for you. 113, the name of the fifth planet from the sun. So planet number five from the sun. Remember, there's a technique that um, teachers use in schools in order for you to remember the correct sequence of the planets from the sun so i'm going to write this one but i know there's like um quite a few it has to do with my very excited mother or my very educated mother or it's normally my very it's my very whatever mother so whatever um method that your teacher taught you please do write it down in your question paper somewhere so that you can remember the order of the planets so the ones that i'm going to um the one that i'm going to use now is my very educated mom or mother but yeah it's fine mom still the same thing just served as nine pizzas okay or you can say my very epic mother just saved us nachos or just saved us um i don't know whatever that's noodles whatever food that starts with the letter 
N. But remember, now we don't talk about the last one, which is Pluto as a normal planet. It's considered as a dwarf planet. Now, the technique to remember the order of the planets is obviously uh, by writing down the statement, the statement and remembering the first letter or linking the first letter of each word on the statement to the first letter of the planet's names. So my will be for Mercury. So my will be for Mercury. Then very will be for Venus. Uh, educated, we take the E for Earth, uh, Mom, M for Mars, so forth and so on. So this one is easy peasy. Whatever method you've been taught in class, you can use it. So fifth, it's one, two, three, four, five. That's the one that starts with the J. That's Jupiter. So our answer is B. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so if you have been taught a different method at school, please kindly let me know in the comment section um, so that I can obviously teach my learners about it. Just, just let us know if there's a different one um, and also help out other learners in order for them to remember the sequence uh, of the planets. <clears throat> Sorry, 114, what is the main component of the sun? Easy peasy, that will be hydrogen. Which of the following is not a dwarf planet? Remember, I just forgot to emphasize here. So you can ignore this one. Um, you can maybe replace the word nine with maybe um, noodles. That's it. So that you know not to mention um, the pizza one for letter P for Pluto as a normal planet because now it's considered as a dwarf planet. So from the following, which one is not a dwarf planet? So we know it's a dwarf planet. We know it's a dwarf planet. We know it's a dwarf planet. So C is our correct answer because Neptune is not a dwarf planet. Let me know how many marks you got um, out, of, out of 10. Right? Then we move to 1.2. Give the correct scientific term for each of the following statements. The force that keeps planets in orbit around the sun. We are asked about the force that is gravitational force or you can say gravity. Okay. Then 1.2.2. The region of space where most asteroids are found located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. So what is that region of space? What do we call it? It's a very famous one, asteroid belt. Please make sure to practice the correct spelling for this one. So asteroid belt. Okay, tick, tick. I hope you're also answering the questions um, with me, please. A small body of ice, dust and rock and this small body normally orbits the sun and develops a tail when it gets close to the sun what do we call it that's a comet easy peasy right the path a planet follows as it revolves around the sun what do we call that path that's an orbit so a planet orbits around the sun all right, for terminology, um, I hope you got all of them correct. Let me know how you got out of four marks. All right, let's move to um, our diagram question. It's one of my favorite questions. So obviously, these are my contact details. If you want to purchase any of the natural sciences worksheets that we um, that we saw. Okay, so question two. Study the solar system diagram below and answer the questions that follow. This is a very, very, very nice diagram question. I'm very proud of this question um, and I'm happy with how we set it. So, and I see most teachers are also setting their exam um, questions in a similar fashion, right? So, what we have in here is a diagram. When you get a diagram, please analyze it before you look at the questions. Don't jump to 211. Look at the questions, analyze, sorry, look at the diagram, analyze the diagram and understand it. So in our case, we are told that this is the solar system. So that's very easy, right? 
Okay, so from the diagram that we're given, we can see it's obviously a solar system diagram and we are having solar system bodies. Now, you're more than welcome to write down the names of the um, solar system bodies on the diagram before you read the questions. Now, you can use um, that tip that I was talking about, about my very epic mother or educated mother or whatever method that the teacher taught you at school, it will still work, right? So we know that in the middle um, of the solar system, you have the sun, right? I'm trying to use a different color. Okay, so this will be the sun in the middle of the solar system. Then uh, my very educated mother just served as noodles. Okay, so this is obviously representing the first letter will represent um, the first letter of each planet in their correct order. So we're going to start from this planet. This will be planet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. M for Mercury. So this one was Mercury. Um, then the second one is Venus. Let's do it together, guys. The third one is Earth. The fourth one. Uh, am I right? Yeah. That's Earth. Then Mars, let's do it together, please. Please also do it on your side. Um, then D, E, F. Um, from Mars, we have this one. I know Lena's like talking about that one. Then um, the next one, G. It's my very educated mother just served S4. Okay. Then H just served us, Uranus, and the last one, noodles for Neptune. Yay! Let me know how it's going on your side. Please let me know in the comment section. All right, please do this whenever you find a diagram. You might be lucky and find one that has some um, names of the solar systems and obviously some missing. It depends on the diagram that the teacher has used in your test or an exam try to do it like this you'll see how simple it will be for you to answer the um, the questions okay provide labels for b d and g let me prove it to you guys how easy it's going to be for you to answer this so provide labels for b d and g there is b there is d and there is g you've already uh, written down the names of the of the planet so that makes it easy for you so b um, is Mercury. You write it down and remember to write down the letter first and then the answer. Then D, um, Earth, planet Earth. Then G, um, Saturn. All right. Are you guys still there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> okay. Then give the letter only of the solar system body. Now your content knowledge needs to come into play. Give the letter only, letter only of the solar system body that is A, the largest planet. Now you go back to the diagram that you've given. You already know, you already know the content, right? That Jupiter is the largest planet. You can't write the word Jupiter here. Why? question is asking you to give the letter only so you are going to look for the letter um that is with jupiter so there is jupiter link jupiter to the letter in the diagram which is letter f that's what you write here all right please don't make that mistake follow the instruction then where there is life you know there is life on planet earth there is planet earth what letter is it letter d then at the center of the solar system, at the center of the solar system, you find the sun. There is the sun. What letter is it? A. Spins the opposite direction to the other planets. This is the special one. Um, let's remind ourselves, is it Venus? Um, yeah, Venus. I'm just going to double check, but I think it's Venus. Then that is letter C. Right, for 2.1.3, 
um, give the letter and the name of the planet. Let's follow instructions, guys. I need us to read these questions and understand what um, they require from us. So this one is asking us to give the letter and the name. The previous one was asking us to give the letter only. Okay. So you are asked to give the letter and the name of the planet. That is the seventh one. Ah, this is easy. So do we need to count together? Or am I wasting your time, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's Uranus. What letter is it? It's H. So H, Uranus. So you've given the letter and the name. Takes 12 Earth years to orbit around the sun. Um, that will be Jupiter. So you need your content knowledge, content knowledge for this one. Jupiter. So where is Jupiter? There. What letter is it? F. So you write the letter and then the name. Okay. Then um, letter and the name of the planet that is 58 million kilometers away from the sun. That will be Mercury. And in our diagram, Mercury is letter B. Okay, takes sixty mm, takes six hundred and eighty seven Earth days to orbit around the sun. That is Mars, obviously. Um, then the letter for Mars. I hope I'm correct. I think that is E. Uh, I can't even see it. Yeah, the E. There it is. E. Then E. Um, Mars. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Please check out the other videos um, in order to make sure that you are fully prepared for your test or an exam. All the best.